What are some horrifying things to consider when thinking about aliens? Our human concepts of morality and empathy are heavily influenced by our mammalian biology. Imagine that aliens land, and instead of having nice little family units their species lays clutches of thousands of eggs at a time. They don't form strong bonds. Life is essentially expendable for them. They see a sweeping over a dead child and they have literally no frame of reference for understanding why this would be upsetting. I'm not saying all aliens will be like this, but some definitely could be. One theory is that if they are sufficiently advanced that aliens may treat us like ants. When we build dams, we don't worry about whether or not a dam will cause an anthill to be flooded out. Similarly, a species that is advanced as far beyond us as we are beyond ants might seek to alter our planet or even our solar system to their advantage without giving consideration to what may happen to us. The possibility of them already knowing about us but us not knowing about them. We have no idea if they know. They could be committing space espionage right now and we wouldn't know about it. This reminds me of the dark forest theory. Like hunters in a dark forest, a civilization can never be certain of an alien civilization's true intentions. In summary, all life desires to stay alive. There is no way to know if other life forms can or will destroy you if given a chance. Lacking assurances, the safest option for any species is to annihilate other life forms before they have a chance to do the same. For all we know, Aliens might not be the little green men that fly around in flying saucers and destroy us with laser beams, they could be an interstellar pathogen that show up one day and silently and effortlessly kills us all without warning. Our immune systems would have no idea what hit them. The assumption that they come in groups in some flying saucer. For all we know they might just appear in hordes of thousands of not millions all across the planet. Also, we like to think that aliens will share the same way of thinking as humans i.e. reasoning, emotions, etc. But the only reason we think that is because that's the only thing we are familiar with. Aliens might have completely different emotions or thought processes than us but we won't know because we never encountered them before. It's like the fourth dimension. At this point it's pretty well established what it is but most of us, if not all, have no clue how to visualize or properly explain it. Extremely unlikely, I know. But if aliens ever come to Earth it likely means they are a space-faring and interstellar capable species with tech at least centuries, if not millennia, ahead of ours. In other words, if aliens are even remotely capable of traveling to our planet, we're pretty much outgunned hilariously. I would much rather be massively, massively outgunned than to be just a bit outgunned. If even our most powerful nukes are nothing compared to their technology then we're not a threat. If we pose a potential danger to them, there's an incentive to eliminate us. What if it ends up the other way around? What if we end up being able to travel between the stars, and we find some aliens that aren't as technologically advanced as we are? I could easily see us being imperialist invaders, committing the atrocities we've committed against each other on an entire species so we could have a second planet with an oxygen atmosphere and easily attainable natural resources. That would be truly horrifying. The speed of light is 186,000 miles per second. I think that any aliens that are capable of traveling light years to reach us have no interest in our resources. To play devil's advocate, however, I would also add the following, a big factor in their decision, whether or not the resources on Earth were plentiful enough to justify the trip, would be just how technologically advanced they were. If they were so advanced that they could travel faster than the speed of light or fold spacetime or something, then it would come down to how badly they needed whatever resources and whether or not they could attain it elsewhere with less effort. The scariest thing to me is thinking that aliens want nothing to do with us. I don't get why everyone thinks that aliens would attack us immediately. It's one thing if we come into their territory, but if they stumble upon us we're most likely safe. Them finding us would mean they are incredibly advanced. Anything they could get by attacking Earth they could get far easier by harvesting it from a different planet in our solar system. Unless they feed specifically on brainwaves, it isn't worth the hassle to attack a planet teeming with life they may have some weapons, however primitive that might be used against you. It's far more frightening to believe that aliens have slash will one day discover us and won't be interested, they won't want us on their intergalactic councils, they won't want to give us medicine, they won't want to form any bond. If they decide to just leave humanity alone, that means either they have decided we are not worth saving, 
or that we are too close to destruction to be worth the resources. My main thing is that they'll bring a virus or something that'll just wipe us out cause we've never seen anything like it. Or we'll be immune cause it's too alien, who knows. But until there is actual proof that there are advanced aliens out there, I'll stick to the idea that they are bacterial cells on Titan or something. That they don't actually exist. If there were no advanced civilization that can colonize other planets, that would mean that most of them go extinct before they reach that level of technological advancement, which means that we are probably doomed to extinction too. I invite you to contemplate how insignificant you are to me. Seriously, what exactly does Earth have that any alien might want? Water? There are trillions upon trillions of cubic miles of it floating around in space. You're likely to find water around nearly every star in the galaxy. It would be far easier to get it elsewhere than it is to haul ours out of the gravity well. Minerals? Elements? Chemical compounds? Again, trillions of trillions of tons of much more easily accessed elsewhere, or easily mass-produced using the near-infinite raw materials and energy found all around the galaxy. How about human labor? Delicate, easily killed, has to be fed, watered, needs to rest at least a third of its life. Stupid, devious, rebellious. Long, slow process to cultivate and educate. Certainly any race that can span the distance between stars can find better alternatives. Our technology? Don't make me laugh. The only thing this planet has that is unique to it, is the fauna and flora itself. Our only value is as a nature preserve. Which means we are wrecking the only value our planet has to the universe. If anything at all, the only reason why aliens would come here would be to stop the destruction probably by wiping out 99% of the species doing the most damage. We struggle enough with terrestrial diseases and infections. If extraterrestrial beings came to this staff little planet we live on without ill will, the diseases they would bring. Similar to what could happen with non-contact tribes like the Sentinelese. They've had no exposure to some of the modern day diseases and just one person could kill them all without meaning to or knowing, simply because they carry an infection virus or disease. Our immunity has evolved and adapted to common diseases and, as the human race, we've worked to help people become immune to not so common diseases. As proven by SARS-CoV-2, all it takes is something novel, aka new, previously unknown, to wreak havoc on the human race. We may not be able to mobilize our collective medical knowledge with speed, if we can even identify and work towards a cure with current terrestrial technology, before it infects and possibly kills the human race. All just because some crazy little, or a large, ET just wanted to say hi. We all know the Fermi paradox. Why, if interstellar life is at all possible, why we haven't found them yet? If we assume that there is life on other planets, we have one very simple and very terrifying answer to the question. The reason we don't see other alien species, is because every time one reaches a certain point, it is unfailingly eliminated. There is no evidence of other interstellar life because there is a force that wipes them all out. One particular alien species of unmatchable power and unflinching purpose which has the technology required to prevent the rise of any other race to a point where it might pose any kind of threat. That they could be massive. Taller than buildings and eat us like bacon strips. Imagine if one alien child fell onto our earth, stomped on all of us, started whining, and then kicked and screamed on the ground, all in a matter of seconds. His mama alien picks him up and they keep walking through space. Human civilization is decimated. I'm sure we are doomed to extinction just like every other hominid before us. Maybe a new one emerges, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it takes millions of years, maybe it doesn't. But our species definitely isn't going to exist forever as we know it. Not the visceral, obvious fear of they want to eat slash enslave slash colonize us. No. The scariest thing about alien life is that we just haven't heard from any of it. Which means we might actually be completely alone. We're the last human species left, the last creature on Earth who could be smart enough to leave our home planet. The scariest thought is that we're still nowhere close to leaving. And there's nothing out there to help us. Just a cold, unfeeling, empty universe. The fact that they could pretty much see us as inferior life forms. Thus, they could make us slaves their food or test subjects. It wouldn't be something personal, they just would look down on us like we would do with some ants, not even worth it changing the direction of a step to avoid killing. <laughs>